Hello folks and welcome back to New Mazand. Here we are, we've gone and bought a fuel tanker trader. Put some fuel in there. Yes, I know we've got fuel at the main farm, but well I just thought we need some fuel now because the vent has run out of fuel. Didn't realise it was out of fuel, so well there we go, we're gonna fill up the fuel. I think what's right over here. Let's go fill up the case as well. That's been filled up. There we go, that's filled up. And now, top up our tree harvester. There we go. So, let's see if we can cut through these trees here. There we go. But yeah, the fact that we've got that plot over there, we should really get a plot, this plot here. But, we need to get one plot of land, at least today, for the cows. Because I'm upgrading their pen, so... Don't fill that up. That's going to take quite a bit of fuel to fill up. So, yeah, basically, if we go over here, we're going to get rid of these three cow pens because they hold 45 each, so that's 120, 135. And the cow pen I want to go for is this one here. Yeah, this one here. So the width will go there, so a bit into the field over there. May have to Yeah, may have to move this as well, I think. Ooh, that took a bit of fuel there. Good. I'll just get this last little bit here before we have to empty. So yeah, as we said in the last episode, most of this is going to be silage. But also we'll keep on the hay situation because we need hay as well. Got about 140,000 litres of hay at the moment. You know what? There we go. Full that. Actually, you know what? I think if next time we won't fold this up, we'll just detach it and then come back to it because it takes a little bit of time to fold. There we go. So there we go, get grass silage. I'm not sure how much is in here. 140,000 litres, I think. Yeah, so no, we do need hay right now. Might as well get that hay in here and then we'll increase our silage production and then the next load will be used as hay. But still got at least another full load. I think we've got about 500,000 litres in total, so yeah, get away with this. Because that would be. If the next load is hay, whatever we get in that final load will be silage, and roughly that will work out as a 2 to 1 ratio. Actually, one thing we need to do is. Pop you there. We need to empty this because I'm not sure how much of product we got in here. No, we don't have much since we don't have any straw. But still. Is it worth just buying a bunch of straw in? Could do. 
So you're going to a little bit of hay, a little bit of solidage. You know what? It's not really worth that, so... We'll just leave that as that. But nothing is... Animal transport. That will have... 12 cows. We need to... Yeah, sorry. May I look at some modest stuff, see if there's any, you know, like, massive cow pasture, not cow pastures, um, traders are going to hold uh, over a hundred cows. Oh, that's still emptying. Oof. Takes a bit of time to empty that. So yeah, I think if we do that, have a quick gander. And then, yeah, start swapping the cows over, possibly. But anyways, what we're going to do now is finish the rest of this off, get the rest of the grass picked up, get into here to make hay, and then that's what will be used. So I'm just going to put you in there, and might as well before we run the day over, off sell some produce. So, got some oil, got some clothes, and let's see if we can get another pallet of clothes. Uh, yeah, I should have another one very soon. to the night. Yes it will be, most likely. Come on, give me that close. There we go. There's any more spawns. We'll grab that. Yep, that is some cakes. So we'll grab that. A maple syrup. Yep, one more maple syrup. But yeah, I had a little quick look on Mod Hub. I think one I could find is for like 56 cows. So that's 100 grand. And since we can't release equipment, yeah, we could buy it and then sell it. but We'll lose about 10 grand, so you know what? I'll just rather get a bunch of new cows straight away. Why not we get calves or just adults straight away? Really depends on the finances. I should without saying that. That's what you still remember about the whole combine situation. 
no pallets of grain yet, so hopefully we'll start making some flour tomorrow. Also tomorrow what we'll do is start making some, not making, um, start spreading the slurry over the field on our sunflower field. But in total that is 250,000 years of hay. And like 200 in 60,000 years of silage plus that 140, so 400,000 years of silage, so roughly works out in the end. And then we'll decide in July of what our next cut will be. So our main sugar pallets. Oh, yeah, there's a few sugar pallets. When is a good time to sell sugar? Have a look in a sec. June, July time. Go. That's another forty grand. And another seven hundred quid there. And what I'm gonna do is just go over to the greenhouse. And start moving these pads out of the way. Move those two out of the way. And we'll move the last one and then we'll skip till the morning. And how much water we've got left still? 21,000 litres. You know what? There we go. And let's skip to the morning. Let's say 6 a.m. Should be fine. That money 729 grand already. What too many pallets? Let me guess, that's the sugar. So, I have to sell some sugar. Yeah, we're producing a ton of sugar. Way more than what the bakery actually needs. Oop. Didn't need to do that. So go into our productions. Oh yeah, a ton of sugar pallets. That's our gramines. Might as well just sell them rather than put them in storage. But yeah, that is a ton of sugar we're making. Might as well set it just to sell. So make sugar from the farm supply production. There we go. I see it's not really get much per litre, but it's still getting a fair bit, so let's go and get Rusty sold and then we'll recommence in a moment here. And there we go, so we've moved some of the honey over. We got rid of some of the cakes and bread that was over at the industrial bakery that wasn't I was there, spawned before we set the production to sell everything. And again, just a bit of extra cash on the side. There we go. 
no sweet four grand. Obviously, we still got the furniture, planks, and that to sell today. But we're about that a bit later on, I think. Actually, one thing we could do so now is the gold. Gold. Okay, then we'll spawn. That's because it's running the stones. And we'll just set that to sell, so. Let's get to 7 o'clock. Okay, no more space for eggs for, for the chickens. Noted. Actually, we will go to you first of all, so we can top these up. Move you all further into the woods. Okay, they're not the biggest trees, but they're very close. And that's almost empty. I'm half tempted. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Barley's Raid Harvest. I did not realise that. I did not realise that. Okay, that's gonna keep on going. Oh, I did not realise that. The barley's Oh, so Oh wait a minute. Why didn't everything seed Ah oh, come on? Thought we corrected all this. Oh well. Oh yeah, but yep, barley. That's ready to harvest. No point doing it now. We'll do it in the next episode. I think along with the wheat, and we can have a mega harvest. But to help to get our funds up for everything for the cows for everything else. I'm gonna touch that. And we're just going to load this up with gold. And we'll have a look and set where this place for gold is. Power slide in. So for gold. Best place to sell gold. Is at the farm shop. 70,300s. And the price is going down. And I'll grab the next three. This is going to be super heavy. For the pickup. Hopefully, it can handle all of it. There we go. And if I try to grab these two, I know all four did we want that, but oh well. We'll see if that works. I very much doubt it, but yep, as I suspected. Come on, there we go. Bear with me a sec, and there we go 10,000 litres of gold. Well, That suspension working. Now, come on. It's literally through the ground. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, I need to get out of here and have a look. Man, that suspension work. Good, jo good job, A2 Studio. Home, that suspension work. It is a bit lopsided, I will admit to that. I was thinking Tyrus hasn't gone through the ground, it's literally just suspension. Man. That is just revving it. It's not even, even first gear. But well, let's see how much money we can get from this. Is a hundred and forty four grand. Yeah, that funds for the cows. Let's go and grab the loader. Not expect to be that man of money. Ooh. I've still got the planks in that old stew yet. Well, yo. But yeah, so that definitely funds the combine for sure. With that, yes, keep on working on getting this emptied. Okay, need more space for it. I know. You know what? That should be enough. So now let's get this emptied. Convert to a Surrey spreader, get a little bit of Surrey, and start spreading our fields because we've got the. What's it? The. Da -da 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 -da, some fire field. What, what's left of it? But yeah, why didn't it foresee? I thought we'd done everything. Well, you may as well that and the grass fields to do. So, you know what? Let's go and get that done. Oh, we've got some green. That's good. Uh, sorry, Spreader, how much is that going to cost us? Two and a half grand. But yeah, there we get suited up. Position onto a field. I'll see you folks in a second. And there we go. Surrey's loaded up. We sold the cows. We've got 22 and a half grand each for the cows. And a bit of money for the pens and that. Milk, there was only about 2,000 euros in the total, so I didn't really bother transferring that. So, but anyways, here we are. Got Surrey loaded up. And, yeah, I was wanting to experiment to see what the spread width is like, so... Okay, go over a bit more. There we go. And we're applying Surrey to the fields. I am liking that. That actually looks quite nice, actually. <laughs> I'm doing that 50 miles an hour as well. I was going to have to fill up perhaps a couple of times. Especially when we go over to the other field at least twice. Or maybe three times. But yeah, that is looking good. There we 
go. So yep, we will continue this, get us all done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. <laughs> And there we go, so yeah, that is the fertilizing done. We sold some bits and bobs, have some eggs, some bit of sugar here and there. And we do have a trailer full of goods. But now it's time to sell the planks and furniture. Oops. Good thing I didn't get destroyed for some weird reason. But yeah, I'm happy we sold a little stuff, we transferred eggs over. Not eggs, sorry. Sh not sheep. Wool and honey over into storage. But yeah, in terms of like fields and that, obviously we've got our wheat field or barley field ready to be harvested. But I'm thinking actually, you know what? Let's get a new field. Perhaps plot 46 and just convert that into a grass field. Why not? Anyways, nope, nope, uh, really up. Right, no, I'm just go in there. Try to get a lot of these loaded up if we can. There we go. I think we should do four stacks of two each. That's one, two, three. Yeah, we do have some furniture, but it's mostly planks. But those furnitures are worth it. Should have checked. Nope. There we go, that's what I want. So, scrap you. And all we're going to do is just plonk him along to side here, and then we can go free wide. But I just don't want any hassle with loading this up. 
So many times we've had bad luck with loading all these produce, so I'm just gonna go and play it safe. Get the furniture. Okay, that's the maximum amount of pallets we can spawn. That's fine. And we should be able to get the wrestling maze onto here. There is still a ton of more planks. There's a bunch in sawmill over there. So the main sawmill at the north, everything picked up there when we picked up all the flowers and that from there. I was going to do that. There we go. quickly get this all loaded up and then we'll sell these. So I'll do that off camera a sec. As you've seen me load these so many times. And there we go for our first so we've got the following. 19,000 liters of furniture, 5,000 liters of sugar, 15,000 liters of flour, 21,000 liters of planks, a thousand years of canola oil, five hundred seventy-six years of maple syrup, a thousand years of wood chip, and a pallet four hundred years of cake. And I think there's a pallet of clothes on top of there that ain't strapped down. So hopefully that sees on as well. So yeah, obviously you're gonna make a lot of money in that, but all this funds future ventures, things like making our own biogas plant. All the great parsing equipment, so at some point I will set a lot of these just to sell and just collect the money passively. Maybe not the clothes and that. Clothes and flowers I'll still do them on our own, but things like the furniture and that possibly, but anywho. So there we go. Yes, I know the maple syrup ain't gonna be sold here. But send everything else on top. Just keep on driving to the point where everything sells. There we go. And actually, that worked out quite well, actually, <laughs> in fairness. 186 grand. I ain't shabby at all. There we go. And with that first slot done, head back on over here. Because we've still got 69 pads of planks. Nice. And. Wood chips and flowers as well. Here we've got planks, eggs, planks, cakes, sugar. I'll get much of this suit up as much as I can. Might as well just sell everything at the moment. I can sell the cakes as well, why not? Sugar, why not? space, I know, but we'll get sorted. So yep, yeah, I'll get this all done. And then I think, yeah, quick time lapse to get this all done. And after that, we start looking at getting the new cows in.
the last load up, so just shy of 50,000 years of planks, 8,400 years of eggs, 6,000 years of flour, almost 2,000 years of sugar, and 1,000 years of canola oil. So, once more, we'll get this all sold. Go, get everything sold. Another hundred and sixty two grand. I mean, a hundred sixty four thousand nine hundred, so. That is a very nice total to have. So yeah, I think with all that, definitely get the animal sorted, get everything we need in now. May buy some, do, would we buy some um, straw in? Or should we just wait for the harvest? Which we do in the next episode. Uh, not sure on that. But we need to get this covered back into a tipper trader. For sure, because we need some TMR. So let's head over here. Ah, just for the sake of getting everything unloaded. I'm ready to use the unrealistic one. Thanks, and the water ball back. Man, look at that. These three pins in the gut. You see bare metal. That's been used for sure. There it goes. Get the TMR loaded up. Eight hundred and twenty-six thousand years of TMR. That's gonna be enough for some time. But now, actually, first of all, we need to buy a new plot of land. So yeah, we said the cows was gonna go here. Also, we was gonna buy this as well for the grass fields. As we can redo with a new grass, uh, not not new, another grass field, and we can just extend this onto that plot of land. So yep, into the sky we go. So yeah, first of all, let's tidy this up a bit. So landscaping, paint, asphalt. So, okay, gone a bit over. No, that's fine. May still change this anyways afterwards to suit the pens, but just for now. So, we've got a solid baseline. And then go into mid. I should do dirt. There we go, you know what? Just leave out of that for now. Also, we could buy this and extend this field, or even extend this field. Well, we'll look at that later on, but for now. So, nope, uh, do not mean to do that. So, animals. So, we said we want the cows and we want the 400 cow pens. Yeah, the 1,000 cows would be good. Ooh, we could go with this one. A tad wider than ideal. Ah, it was this one here. Get 
again, all part of the Animal Police Force pack. Unfortunately, I can't get a front view of this, so have to roughly eyeball it in. So I'm thinking, looking at the fields there and there. Place it. How does that look? Not too bad. Actually, perhaps we should just pull that over a touch more, perhaps. Do we try to sell it? Yeah, you know what? Let's sell that and redo that again, so... Well, take it further back. There we go. Yeah, that's better. So now, just do a touch of that landscape and tie these all up. Actually, we are going quite far up to the trees. And actually, we could... I won't extend the field. Now nah, we won't extend it because we won't have much space available to manoeuvre because we would need to have a bit of manoeuvre space but surely convert this into a grass field off some very so landscaping painting we want dirt so there we go Something like that. I think you know what might be worth just having a big old space dedicated to turnarounds and all that. So That, that looks a lot better. But yeah, this is a grass field here, so we can certainly extend this down here. And I think, yeah, just finish off. Just go and tidy it up. Get along the edges. That's better. I sure what may be worth just go dirt, dirt, dirt. Like so. Now we need to put the TMR mixer back in, so I should, first of all do we have a manure heap? Okay, so milk comes out of here, slurry comes out of here, food goes in there, and the animal trigger point is here. I don't think I can see... I see I'm in your point, so... If I go over here... I'm happy for all this and that. Completely fine. Don't think that opens, does it? No. Okay, so perhaps... I need to put a manure heap down. So something like that. And then we'll go and put that TMR mixer back down. If I could find that. There we go, Psyching. 
Do we put there or do we put it over here? If you know what, put it over here. Somewhere out of the way. As a bit neater. Whether or not we need to put a milk extension in would be to be determined. Certainly I'll say have two hundred cows like that and then rest could be calves. And it still leaves us with money for uh for what's it? The combine harvester. So we have that cycle of current cows which are old enough and then cows are slightly older. Now let's bring the TMR over. And there we go. So actually we can park that back in the half actually. But now Ah this tips up doesn't it? Is, is it a collision? Yep. Alright, okay, you know what? Wow, only 75,000 litres it needed. Ah, that's not much. Full if needed more than that, for sure. And exit space just yeah, a touch up over there. Might be worth placing a little silo down. No, not these bunker silos. Something like that perhaps. There we go. Just have a little soil here so when we get to your Marnat, we just keep it here and keep on transferring it over without having to make too much of a trek. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just finish up some little details. I'm just going to buy some bells of straw, put them in, and that's where we'll end the episode here for today. And there we go, we've got a few bells, 88,000 litres in total. I very much doubt it'll need all of this, but you never know. Oops. So I'll put these lot in first of all. Oh, don't tell me we need a straw blower. Ah, bugger. What about if we say do this? Got an idea. Bear with me for a sec, folks. There we go, figure that away. Now, before the site over there, the far one, I accept bells and that, so I thought that one would, but not all of them do. But, anyways, we get this filled up with straw. And as we Sorry, put that through. That's gonna get consumed. And it should consume both. Yep, it has. Fifty-two 
thousand years of straw. So you see, we've got to expand this a bit. Technically, we're going into the other property, but with some jiggery pookeriness, um, yeah, that's not an issue anymore. And now, it's unload the straw. Plenty of clearance. And I doubt it will take it all, but. Or actually, it may do, actually. Oh, not quite. 50,000 litres. So, 75,000 litres of food and 50,000 litres of straw. And it consumes 640 litres of straw per hour. Uh, that's a good bit of information to know. But now, so we have a look. Our cows are starting to have health. And already producing Surrey. And I think we're going to have a ton of Surrey as well. To the point, actually, it may be worth putting an extension in. What? Let's do that, so... Ah, so it's got to be over here. Yeah, that's not in by us, so... We say put... Be careful of our money here. Two of those down. That's increased capacity by somewhat. And then put this in. So I think it's somewhere like that. 576, that should be just enough for what we need. But worst case scenario, we could just set everything to sell. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Bit longer than the episode than planned, I think based on how much I'll be going here. But yeah, overall, I am pleased with this. And hopefully this one works better than the last one, so you don't have any weird glitches or anything. But yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to show some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're having a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.